everybody. Um, I'll just turn around a little bit to see all of you. Um, so yeah, my name is Dave Huckens. I'm a designer from the Netherlands. In case you don't know where that is, it's right there. It's quite far from here. Uh, I will talk a little bit about the project I've been working on, and it's called, uh, it's about plastic. And it basically started when I noticed how much plastic we have in the world, how much waste. And when I heard that less than 10% of all this plastic gets recycled. So most of it goes, uh, it gets burned, goes to the landfill, or it ends up in the ocean, which is not super good for plastic. It's kind of shitty all three ways. Um, and then I was looking into the material, and if you have plastic waste, uh, you can chop it into something and then mold it into something new. So I was thinking, why don't we do this? Why, why don't we recycle the plastic? So I did some research, uh, first visiting the companies that produce the plastic, then um, where it's being uh, yeah, turned into a product from the raw material, where they package it, uh, where the machines that make the plastic are being produced, um, where they transport the plastic towards, and also in the end where it ends up, just to sort of understand the problem of why don't we recycle plastic. Um, so I mapped it out for you guys, so if you look above. Uh, so this is basically the circle of well, a plastic product. Um, so if you look at the shop, the, the red, white little roof, that's basically where you buy it, you use it, and then you throw it away. And I was interested in the, the part that gets recycled, the 10%, so what happens with that? So it's being picked up by a car, uh, goes to a place that sorts it out, another place that washes it, another place that shreds it, and then a place that stabilizes it, so you can use it again. Which is basically quite complex, a lot of stuff, it's quite difficult for industry to do it, so they don't really like to do it. So like, what if you could bring it to a guy like me, and just sort of simplify it, a place where you can bring your plastic trash, and where they turn it on the spot into something new. Um, and then hopefully you have all these places around the world where you can just bring your plastic trash and you get something new out of it. But when I wanted to work with plastic, I realized I can't really do it because I don't have the tools to do it. Um, so I figured maybe I should build machines. Um, so I started building machines. I'm really also doing research all over the world from what kind of tools and materials are available. So for instance, here's in Ghana to see what kind of machines do, do, do they make there just to make sure that if I would design machines in the Netherlands, that they could also make them in, for instance, Ghana. Uh, and besides building machines, there was also a lot to figure out on plastic itself, like what are the different types of plastic, what's the melting temperature, um, if you blend them together, like how does the color flow, and if you want to melt something, does it come out the same way as you planned it? So there was a lot just to learn about plastic as a material, because usually we don't really work with it. So in the end, I made four different machines. Um, a shredder that chops it into small flakes, and then other machines, you can mold it into something new. We actually have a few machines there in the tent, so you can check them out later. Um, and with those machines, you can make a lot of things, like um, bowls or clipboards, uh, functional stuff like an iPhone case, or uh, walls coverage, like tiles, uh, or beams to construct things. And uh, so yeah, basically the, 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 we want plastic recycling to be all over the world. So what the, the, I would say the best thing about the project is that we share everything what we do open source online for free. So everyone in the world can download the blueprints and start building their own machines. Um, and besides the blueprints, also really step-by-step -step instruction videos. Like this is how you make the machine and some stickers you can use. Uh, the technical drawings, really to try to get people all over the world start recycling plastic. Um, and this is just online for free, you can download it, and the cool thing is that people actually download it. So we have some students in Budapest that built them, um, some girls in Taiwan, uh, a father that built the shredder machine with his kids in Mexico, uh, some students there as well, uh, girls in Indonesia that use it to make products, some guys in South Korea that are actually in here as well. Um, in Spain, where they use it for education. Uh, Uganda, uh, Ukraine. So it really became this worldwide community of people recycling plastic. And some really do it to, to sell the product. So they make something and they, uh, well, they sell it and they, they earn money out of it. Others do it more for educational reasons, like here in Indonesia, to show kids that plastic is a valuable resource. 
And, uh, and some people also build the machines and they sell them uh, because not everyone knows how to build machines, so they just download the blueprints and sell them locally. And we actually really like this, if there's this economy around plastic recycling. So we also have an online bazaar, a marketplace, where people can buy and sell machines, but also the, the products they make and the molds to really create this economy around recycling. Uh, so for instance, here are also some products made by community members around the world. So from Ukraine, Thailand, Netherlands, Spain, just people around the world that built the machines and now uh, yeah, recycle plastic. And uh, so if you have the world map, so the world map, um, around now we have like 300 workspaces around the world of people that start recycling plastic. And about a new one every week popping up somewhere. Um, and we also have this feature on the map of people that say they want to get started, um, but they can't really do it yet or uh, it's too difficult. So we made this tool that you can add yourself on this map. Um, try to collaborate people together. So let's say you want to start in this region. Uh, you could see ah, there are other people in this neighborhood as well or in this area, so you can find each other and uh, yeah, start to collaborate. And that's kind of what we try to do to just make plastic recycling easier, whether it's building the machines, building a map, building a bazaar, whatever it takes to get people going. Uh, so yeah, more and more people that want to recycle. And one of the things we actually do now in the Netherlands is um, there's always things to improve. We could build better machines, uh, new products, more examples, better online tools. So we started making version four of the project. And we actually have it ready end of this month, which is uh, soon. We've been working for one year on it. And we really invited engineers, product designers, web developers uh, from around the world to work on this together. So we've been doing that. And just a few things we've been working on. One is, for instance, a machine that can make uh, big plastic sheets. So this means you can really transfer uh, plastic and bulk amounts, and with a sheet you can make a lot of things. Uh, we're also working on more robotics to sort the plastic, because this is usually a big problem, to see the different types, so uh, we build a scanner and a robot to do that. Also looking into alternatives for plastic, so how can you make plastic in a more natural way, um, so with only natural materials. Uh, and also making just new product examples like a, a bench, we're actually also making a dome, not as big as this one, but maybe someday. Uh, and bricks, so you can make uh, uh, structures with it, or houses, or sheds. So this is kind of exciting for us. A lot of newer information coming online very soon. Um, so yeah, and hopefully then more people in the world start recycling. And that was my presentation.